Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements 14 video tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to add texture to make your images have a little bit more pizzazz. It's very simple to do and I'm going to even show you where you can get a texture at. Uh, something that's not included with Photoshop Elements so you can make this photograph actually be your own. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Google, of course. And we're going to search for textures and go to images. The next thing I want to do here is I want to go to search tools, size. I want to make sure I have a large image. So I have a good uh, image with a lot of pixels to work with. Now what I want to do is just search through here and look for a texture that I would like to use on my image. And I haven't tried any of these yet, so we'll just see what happens here. Let's use something like uh, this texture right here. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty like a basket weave. That looks really nice. We're going to right click on that basket weave and say save image as. When we do this, it's going to say where do you want to save this at? Well, let's just go to the desktop here for now. And uh, I'll make a new folder called texture. Texture. <laughs> texture. And we'll create that. Then we'll just save it right there. Once you have your image saved, we're ready to go ahead and start working with our image. So here's our image. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate that background layer as always, either using Command or Control J. And we'll duplicate that background layer. Now what I like to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a blank layer. So let's create a new layer. Oh, that's a layer mask. I'm sorry. Let's delete the layer mask. We want a new layer. It's a little white tab in the front there, new layer. And now we're going to go up to simply go to file and we're going to place and we're going to place that texture right on top of our image. So we'll go to desktop textures. Here's our texture that we downloaded and we'll click on place. And you can see there now where we're going to place that right on top of our image. When you do this, all you have to do now is stretch this texture out to cover your whole image. So let's do that. We're going to stretch it out here. Actually, I think what we want to do first is, oops, we got rid of that image here. First thing we want to do is scale this down a little bit. So let's scale it down a little bit here. So we can see more of what we're working with on screen. There we go. Let's go back to file. We're going to place that once again. Let's place it. And we're going to place this texture on top of our image. Now we're going to go ahead and just start sizing this uh, texture out. Just like so. Come down to the bottom here. And I always drag from the, from the corners because it seems like it keeps it. It's more proportional when you do it that way. Okay, we're going to pull out the sides here. And then we'll pull out this side. Once you get your image or your texture placed, click the little checkbox on the bottom. And now it's placed on top of the image. But now you're saying, well, wait a minute, Jack, we can't see the image underneath. Well, that's correct. So we're going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. So go from normal to overlay. Now you can see that image coming through. You can see we have a texture now. It's ingrained into our background, but we want the lion here to to pop. We want to see the lion without having the texture overlaying on the line. Or maybe you do. This is not a bad looking image. So that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, you could actually hang that on your wall the way it is. But we're going to change that. We're going to make that lion pop. We're going to do that by means of using a layer mask. So go up on top of your toolbar. It's the third tool over. It says add a layer mask. Click on your layer mask. We're going to paint with black to reveal what's under that grab ourselves a paintbrush here. And then we're just going to simply start painting with the black. You'll see when we do that, what happens is it starts to show what's underneath. There we go. So we're just simply painting over top of, and I'm just using the mouse. I'm left clicking on the mouse and just dragging around the head here. Just so we can get that texture off of there and we can reveal what's underneath, which is our lion. And clean that up a little bit. 
Make sure your opacity at the bottom is set to 100%. Uh, that is very important. If not, you're going to leave some of that texture showing through there. We really don't want that. We're going to bring the lion's head out without showing the texture through. Get up here on the top a little bit, around his eyes a little bit more. And now you can see just by using that layer mask how easy it is for us. We don't have to make any selections or anything, anything crazy. And now you have that really cool textured background behind this actual line. You could do this with any subject uh, that you're working with. It's just a great way to overlay a, a texture background on there. Uh, it makes it really, really nice and easy to use. Um, it's just a really, oops, I keep clicking. I don't know why that's doing that. Keep clicking that. And I keep playing around with that a little bit there. Oops, too far down there. You can actually, even if you want that overlay to be a little less uh, in your face, you can always drop the overlay opacity at the top of the screen just by sliding. But we're going to leave it at 100% because I think it looks pretty good right there. So, folks, oops, keeps my mouse keeps hanging up there for some reason. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to create a uh, overlaid texture onto your photograph. And you can use this, uh, like I said, for any photo that you're going to have a main subject in. It works really well, and it adds a little bit of pizzazz to your photos. Folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my uh, video tutorials and my, my online courses at jtclearning.com. That's jtclearning.com, where you can learn Photoshop elements uh, 12, 13, and now 14 is coming up. From beginning to end, you can learn, you know, from the very basic tools and then get into some editing and learn how all these uh, quick, guided, and expert modes work. It's a great way to learn at a very, very low cost. Hey, you bought the software. Now you want to learn how to actually use it. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Please comment. And I'll talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner with another Photoshop Elements 14 video tutorial. Bye-bye for now.